Welcome to our new learning episode. I am Teacher Nell and I will be your science teacher for today. Today, we'll find out how filtration is being used as a technique to separate mixtures. We are now in the fifth week of our first quarter, day one. At the end of the learning episode, you are expected to Explain filtering as a technique to separate mixtures. Apply filtration technique in the day-to-day -day activities and appreciate the importance of filtration in providing us a safe drinking water. Before we proceed to our lesson, let me ask you five questions. You will answer the question after I have read each statement together with the options. You will only choose the letter of the correct answer and write your chosen letter on the sheet of paper. Ready? Number one, what do you think will happen when we use a filter paper or piece of cloth to separate a mixture of solid and liquid? A. The solid will be filtered or stopped by the filter paper. B. The solid will not be filtered or stopped by the filter paper. Letter C. The filter paper will be mixed together, together with the solid and liquid. Letter D. Nothing will happen when we use filter paper to separate a mixture of solid and liquid. The correct answer is letter A. Number 2. What filtering material could be used so that the smallest substance of a mixture can be separated? A. Filter paper. B. A piece of cloth. Letter C. Kitchen strainer. Letter D. All the materials given. The correct answer is letter A. Number 3. What do you think will pass through a handkerchief if we filter a mixture of water and soil? A. The solid will pass through the handkerchief. B. The water will pass through the handkerchief. C. The water and soil will both pass through the handkerchief. Letter D. Nothing will pass through the handkerchief. The correct answer is letter B. Which of the following kitchen materials can be used to separate cooked noodles from boiling water? A. Filter paper B. Spoon and fork C. Kitchen strainer Letter D. Any kitchen materials The correct answer is letter C. 5. When you use a piece of cloth to separate mixtures, which of the following statements should you do? A. Just pull any piece of cloth near you. B. Use any handkerchief from the drawer. C. Cut a piece of cloth from usable t-shirt of your siblings. D. Look a piece of cloth which is seldom used and wash it carefully. The correct answer is letter D. In module 12, you have learned about evaporation as a process to separate homogeneous mixtures. Can you still recall how evaporating technique can be useful in our daily lives? Let's have a simple activity to refresh your mind. Together with your adult household companion, give at least three useful methods using evaporating technique. Do it on a sheet of paper and submit your answer to me through Facebook Messenger. To 
lot some mixtures of solid and liquid like water and soil can be separated by filtering filtering is a technique done by using a device in separating solid particles from a liquid by pouring it through a porous substance like filter paper and a piece of cloth. The act or process of filtering is called filtration, the mechanical separation of a liquid from the undissolved particles mixed with it. Filtration is defined in biology dictionary as the separation of substances based on their different physical and chemical qualities. Typically, we think of it as the removal of solid particles from a mixture containing both solid and liquid. In this process, we refer the collected solid material as the residue and the liquid material as the field rate as shown in the diagram. Different materials or devices are used for the purpose of filtration, including filter paper, kitchen strainer, and a piece of cloth, or even a machine being used in most water refilling stations. You already have the knowledge of different techniques in separation of mixtures. Let me add a sort of information. Filtration as cited in Wikipedia is the most efficient method in separation of mixtures than decantation, but is much more time consuming. If very small amounts of solution are involved, most of the solution may be soaked up by the filter medium. An alternative to filtration is centrifugation. Instead of filtering the mixture of solid and liquid particles, the mixture is centrifuged to force the denser solid to the bottom. Did you know, filtration also occurs naturally in our body? For example, in a kidney, where the blood is filtered in a process called glomerular filtration. Do the following activities to be able to show a technique in separating mixtures by filtering. In your first activity, label this one as Filtra Filper, which stands for filtration using filter paper. You need to provide one glass of tap water, one glass jar, and a filter paper. What you will do? First, Put a filter paper on the glass jar and then pour one glass of tap water. Observe and record your findings using the table on the next page. Record your findings using the table. Please do it on your free time and submit your observation in May once you are done. Now, let me show you another activity. We will call this as Filter Me Hanky. Use the table to record your observation. You may do this also during your free time. In your third activity, we will call this as Awit, but not the same meaning as you have known. It's Ask Who Is There. What you have to do is Ask any members of the family or search over the internet on the uses of filtration in our daily lives. Give at least three uses. Write your answer on a separate sheet of paper. Do it in your free time. To summarize what you have learned, answer this activity. Supply the words that will complete the paragraph. Choose from the words in the box. Filtration technique has many uses. It is not only the idea of separating mixtures of solid and liquid. 
it has beneficial use in our daily lives. A water filtration system filters impurities such as sand, dirt, and germs to provide you with clean and safe drinking water. They also retain essential minerals in your water. Health is wealth. It is important nowadays that we are keen on our cleanliness, especially in this time of uncertainty. We are facing an issue concerning health, the COVID-19 pandemic. Now, knowing all these things, how will you show appreciation to the importance of filtration? Write your answer on the text box given. Use a separate sheet of paper in your appreciation. Do it in your free time. I am sure you are now equipped with the knowledge about the lesson discussed a while ago. Answer the given question and choose the letter of the correct answer. Write the chosen letter on a sheet of paper. Number 1. What do you call the process of separating mixtures done by using a filtering device? A. Decantation B. Evaporation Letter C. Filtration Letter D. Sieving Correct answer is letter C. Number 2 which of the following kitchen materials can be used so that the smallest substance can be separated? A. A filter paper B. Piece of cloth C. Kitchen strainer D. All of the materials given The correct answer is letter A. Number 3 which type of mixture is usually separated by filtration? A. Solid to liquid mixture B. Liquid to solid mixture C. Solid to solid mixture Letter D. Any type of mixture and Correct answer is letter B What will pass through a handkerchief if we will filter a mixture of water and sand? A. The sand will pass through the handkerchief B. Nothing will pass through the handkerchief C. The water will pass through the handkerchief Letter D. The water and sand will both pass through the handkerchief Correct answer is letter C. Five. Why do we need to buy drinking water from certified water refilling station? A. It is trend nowadays. B. The family will look wealthy in the eyes of others. C. It has been the practice since the water refilling station emerged. Letter D. It is safe to drink because it removes impurities from the water. Correct answer is letter C. 